Welcome, my brothers and sisters, to the God Minutes Guided Meditation Series. This is Father Michael, and I will be your host for this session. How many times... Have you driven down the street or been walking down a busy sidewalk and noticed a disheveled person looking for a handout, holding a sign which says, Anything will help. God bless. The first thought is, I shouldn't give them money because they will use it for booze and drugs. Maybe they're more aggressive and they start shouting out at you and you think to yourself, I wish the city would do something about these folks. Perhaps deep down you're frightened by them and actually would like to help them. If anything will help, did you ever think of saying a prayer for those less fortunate and often tormented individuals. They need healing too. This meditation is focused on the passage from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. It's the passage of the healing of the blind man, Bartimaeus. This is an opportunity for us to look at all those nameless individuals that are in need of healing. So sit back, relax, take this journey with Bartimaeus and let his story speak to your heart. Allow this time of meditative reflection to bring you to a greater sense of responsibility to bring hope to those in need. Let's take a moment to place ourselves in the Lord's presence and ask that we might find blessing through this reflection. As in all things, we call upon the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us enter into this moment of grace by closing our eyes. Take in a deep breath and slowly let it out. Do that a few times until your body is completely relaxed.
Do you have any idea of what it's like to be sightless? Do you know what it's like to fumble through life not knowing where you are or who you're with? Every moment of every day you walk around wondering if your next step will cause you to stumble and fall or worse still, tumble down a hill and die. I can't even begin to tell you how many scrapes and bruises I have all over my body just for my day-to-day routine. Not to mention the fact that when you can't see, you can't work, and you can't trust anybody, people will come and steal right off of you. I've had to sit and beg sometimes, going without food for days. But you know, that's all changed now. Now you know, when you have been deprived of one of your senses, sometimes another sense becomes sharper. It's true. Don't tell anyone, but I can hear things very clearly. I listen very carefully to the people around me. They always talk about this Jesus guy. From what I've heard about the things that he's done and said, I think he might be the Messiah. You know, the one that we've been waiting for. In fact, that's how I got his attention one day. He was walking through our town and I heard people talking to him. So I started yelling out, Son of David, have pity on me. Many of the town folk kept telling me to shut up, be quiet. But that just made me shout all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. I called him Son of David because I knew that would get his attention. And he'd know that I believed he was the Messiah, the Chosen One, from the house of David. Well, after several times calling out to him, he came over to me. I knew he was a good man. I also knew he wouldn't be deterred by my blindness or poverty. He came over and asked, what do you want me to do for you? I couldn't believe it. That was a first. Someone asking me, what? I thought they could do for me for a change. Truth be told, I could have asked for all kinds of things. But I came to realize that if I could see, I'd be able to live a normal life. I'd be able to work and socialize and get to the temple without anyone's help. So I just boldly said, Rabbi, I want to see. I was so nervous. I didn't even preface my desire by telling him all the good things I had done or how I could possibly be worthy of his help. I just blurted it out. Rabbi, I want to see. And you know what he said? He said, go, your faith has healed you. Just like that, go, your faith has healed you. And I recovered my sight immediately. My faith, can you believe it? My faith, he said, is what healed me. I know it wouldn't have been possible without him. And I'm grateful every day for the gift of faith. My blindness was restored because I no longer allowed my limitations to limit me. You know, I think he really is the son of David, the Messiah 
the chosen one for whom we've been waiting. And that's good news for all of us. Father God, we thank you for this meditation. We thank you for the people, the persons, disheveled, homeless, hungry, mentally struggling, all as beautiful and perfect reminders of how you call us to be healers for our wounded world. Keep our awareness strong. Take away our fear and allow us to do whatever is necessary to go the extra mile when we can. Let our faith grow ever stronger and our gratitude be abundant. May we know of your goodness and your mercy always and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God go with you.